we're back. And hopefully better than ever because it's time to save your saves. So all that vacationing nonsense, I need to just go ahead and shake off the rust. Why am I dizzy? We're gonna look at your football manager saves. You're gonna tell me what's wrong and we're gonna try and save them, particularly the ones in this one where it looks like you're probably gonna get relegated. But first we have Unai 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 with Nords Yelland. Very short, sweet and to the point. How to go from making deep UCL runs to actually winning. So Nords Yelland, we find we are in Denmark. This is a classic situation. I'm going to tell you something off the top without having even looked at any of this. If you are making deep runs in the Champions League, getting to the quarterfinal, there is quite simply nothing that is stopping you from actually winning the Champions League. You are good enough to win it. I just want to tell you that you're winning the Danish league by 20 points. And I'm assuming in the Champions League, you're just having some heartbreak. Like you get to the quarterfinal, you lose to Liverpool. But look who you beat in the first round. You beat Bayern. And if you said you've like you've done this multiple times, which if you go to club info and you get a history and competitions, you can actually see like, oh, Champions League lost Arsenal in the quarterfinal, lost to Liverpool in the quarterfinal. Four consecutive third place finishes before that. You have earned your way up and your team is definitely at a level where they're going to be good enough, right? Looking at your star players right now, they are certainly, certainly very good. Shout out to having an American, by the way. America, the spacious skies and amber waves of gray, Elizabeth and McKenna, who beat England again. Like, obviously, you're not the most talented team in the world, but you are good enough. Keep at it. Keep in the process. You will get there. Sometimes it happens. You don't always win it your first time that you're good enough. But that was easy. Next. Hello. Subscribe. Thank you. We have Ewan McElroy. 55. At Ersund. Domestically, things are going okay. However, financially... I am in shatters, which is stopping me from making advances in Europe. Selling my wonder kids, who, not meaning to brag, beat Holland, the Norwegian player of the year. Uh, you have, my scouts are bringing in suitable replacements, so we have some more panic here. I have been trying to ease the financial burden of top players by using my senior affiliates, Chelsea and Tottenham. However, once I get a player on loan from them, the player doesn't want to return for more than one spell, and I have now run out of players. The only way I can see an advancement is by getting into the Champions League. With the funds at my disposal, I don't see that happening. So, a bit of a tricky spot. Let's take a look. So, if I'm looking at a team in this position, there's one thing that I'm looking for. Your recruitment strategy needs to be on fire. I know what you're talking about. Well, what do you mean recruitment strategy? I don't have a lot of money and money's a serious problem and all this and all that. Well, your recruitment strategy is, is good, not great, I would say. You clearly are emphasizing going after younger players. You can see that by the age in the squad that we haven't sunk a bunch of them yet. And you're right, you are in trouble. This is a tricky situation. The board, despite the fact that you're under the limits, is not giving you a lot of the resources to be able to pull this stuff off. So what you need to do is get into Europe because in the league that you are in, selling players is not a viable way to survive and actually pay off that debt. While one trip to the Champions League group stage actually puts you in a positive position. And I'm looking at your star players right now, especially somebody like this, Ken Yepe Oland. You've got to hang on to those types of players. That guy's solid. Emiusid, I know who that is. He's good. So you've got a young core of a couple players Three signings. You need an end of contract shortlist. I see you don't have one. You don't have to create an end of contract shortlist. Just create a shortlist with some players that are on end of contract. And I'm just looking at your scouting priorities. You've got an insane 321 people on your scouting priorities list. You got like five scouts, right? So that is very, very difficult for them to get through. It's going to take them like an entire year to get through that unless you add anything else. So this is not a, a great position in terms of your scouting and player acquisition. Look to grab... Free loans on deadline day, that's when you can find them. I'm talking player search, I'm talking loan list, I'm talking looking at every Premier League club, checking everybody they have on loan. I'm talking about going to Bayern, going to all players, going to transfers, and then sorting by loan status. Doing that sort of thing on deadline day can help you find players they are desperate to get rid of for playing time, and you can max out the free loans that you have. Do that in player search up players and expired contracts with international caps. Able to turn the international caps up to one, then you go to general info, sort by the nationality, and you can find someone that has actually played for a reputable team. A couple of people with senior Danish caps, Oscar Hoybe. How, 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 how? 
how do these guys have a cap? Maybe you need a reputable center back. I just put in one youth cap and we're finding a bunch of guys that played on Belgium and look like solid players that could definitely at least help out your team. I shoot 36 year old Willian is here. I doubt we'd be able to swing that. But there are a lot of players here that you can go and grab for free, which is very helpful because you actually have 700,000 a year left in your wage budget. There's one more thing you need to think about. Who cares how much money you spend now? You're in crazy debt and the only way to get out of it is to get to a Champions League group stage Make your team as good as possible. You have to push for it. There's no way other than that to pull your team out of this position. Next, we have Eagles 7676 at AFC Wimbledon. Hello, C. I'm currently in the 2024 25 English Premier League season with Wimbledon. We had seen promotion in year one from League One, reach the playoffs of the championship in year two, and then automatic promotion in year three. We have a massive financial issue as we do not have the funds to sign many players. We have the lowest payroll budget in the league by far. I am trying to find a way to simply survive in the Prem with a fan-owned club. January is around the corner and we only have about 3 million left to spend. It's not looking good. So we take a look at the team. You're down in 19th. Financially, you're going to be fine. Unlike our friend at Elsund, you are about to get giant parachute payments or massive payments in the Premier League either way. So I really wouldn't worry about it, but there is one glaring omission from your team. What do I always tell you? What do I always tell you? To survive in these situations, where all you need to do is keep your club up and eventually you will have the money to do all the things you want to do, but there is a way to get players in the meantime. Oh, loans, you gotta have loans. Loans, loans. Oh, no, homes. You gotta have loans. You gotta have loans. You gotta have loans. You gotta have loans. Please, for the love of God, you have loans. Loan somebody. Get a senior affiliate. I mean, yeah, you can't buy anybody. Of course, you can't buy anybody. You're playing Manchester City. They can buy entire countries. You can loan in players from other good teams and make it count. Wait till deadline day. Put together a list of players and go after them. If you can get them for cheap early, go after them there. You got plenty of freaking money. Loan some dang players. Keep yourself in the Premier League and you'll be able to buy the world in no time. Next. Not enough. Next, we have Joey F354 from Dejan in England. Uh, what? <clears throat> Hi, Z. I am currently in the 2040s doing a Pentagon save. That makes more sense. Having won Europe, North America, and the African Champions League. Congratulations. For those that don't know, Pentagon saves where you try and win all five Champions Leagues in the game, not including Oceania, but like Asia, Africa, South America, Europe, North America, right? Obviously. Uh, I've now bounced from India to South Korea, but I'm stuck in the second division with the rules really bumming me out because I don't really know what to do. I have a few good players, but I don't think they're good enough for the long run. And also every now and again, my players get poached from a club in the first division, but only on loan. Please show me the way. Well, you're weirdly in luck. Because back in 2017, before I started streaming, I did a save where I was in Korea and I had one really easy trick that helped me out. And looking at your team, you're definitely gonna need me to help you out a little bit because this team, these are the star players, by the way. And I know my region face pack is coded to different players than his save. So that's why the faces look weird, but these players are just not good. And if you don't know what the region face pack is, check it out down below, except for this guy, Cabo Gafose. So you've got basically one good foreign player. And he's definitely good. I don't know how you found it, but you're gonna need more. And the way you're going to find them is this. You need to get a person with knowledge in the United States, because the United States, despite the fact that in footballing terms, it's like not in the top 20 nations to sign players from, is a lot higher than that in football manager because of the way the leagues are set up. Every U19 player in the United States is basically available for free. You can sign them. And there's a great way to actually find those people that I'm gonna show you with non-American players because you have none in your search area right now. So we come up here and we've got amateur contracts. Boom, amateur contracts. And we will be looking at, I don't know, center midfielders. Sounds good to me. And we find D, or we need to find somebody who we have no knowledge of, right? It's just uh, like this lad right here, Deni Daniel Doroslavic. Dor Doroslavak. Now, Daniel's got eight to 16 passing here. So we've identified that passing is an attribute that central midfielders that we don't have any knowledge of is it's still going to be there and we'll literally put it at 17 and we find a nigerian named onyeka ibrahim now you notice that it has to do with the range but at the level that you're playing at finding this guy like we just found a brilliant player he isn't even from the us where every u19 player is also going to be appearing on this list you sign a member of your staff from the us this dude would immediately help your team like sign him right now he's a beast he sees the field 
incredibly well at a level that the vast majority of your team couldn't even do in their dreams, right? He also plays for a team called Go Round FC, which is awesome. You have to have 222 players on your match squad and one in the starting 11. And you can only have three foreign players, four foreign players, not including Southeast Asian. So you can have one Asian player from outside Southeast Asia. And then you can get another Asian player from inside Southeast Asia, which is usually not helpful, but like, okay. The tip I'm going to show you, actually, the under 22 thing is going to be helped by that as well. But yeah, get someone with knowledge of the US. You'll have a bunch of players like this stack up and you will be promoted in no time. One more important tip, though. You're the head coach of England. What are you doing in the second division? Take over Suwon Blue Wings, win this in one year and move on to North America. What are you doing? Next. It's our homie X Cortex at Kohlscheider. Just got promoted into the Bundesliga 2 with the worst facilities in Germany. We had the lowest payroll in the 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 Liga and are getting budgets uh the you're getting a budget a million a year less than Zwickau who just got relegated clubs in 15 million in debt if we can't find a good source of income soon I fear we'll keep getting tiny budgets we've not been able to find a senior affiliate we've tried 11 times I do appreciate the effort in counting that uh good cheap loan players have been hard to find nobody would be worth selling at the moment we just can't get past the first round of the poke all for bigger prize money. Fortunately, our new stadium we're temporarily renting will bring in a larger gate receipt. What can be done to repair the financial damage of the club so we can push on for promotion, improve facilities, and get my financial coaching license? I wouldn't be thinking about facilities right now if I were you. So immediate look at your finances. You're not 15 million in debt, you're 3 million in debt. That's pretty easy to fix. It's easier to fix because I'm gonna show you something. You're not screwed. Yay! Great news, right? Germany does a great job of spreading its money around. A fantastic job of spreading its money around. So once this promotion takes effect, not only will you start making money because, you know, you got the new stadium, more people are going to be going, you're going to be in the second Bundesfight, the Bundesliga, and you're going to be having a good time. You're going to be in a good financial situation. So even though it says you are insecure, you're not going to be insecure. But also that means that you're going to have more likability for loans, which means you're gonna be able to land loans, listen to this song, and generally improve your team to go for the gold. You also, fortunately, thanks to your board, have a lot of open payroll budget. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You probably don't need to sign anybody outside of loans and free players to get all the way to the Bundesliga. So keep your eyes peeled, turn your scouts toward end of contract players, and you will be fine. Finances can feel weird, but you just achieved the goal. You got promoted. You're also not in England, so it means you're going to be financially sound where you're at right now. This just hasn't changed yet. Breathe. Now, a lot of y'all seem very stressed about your saves right now, so hopefully this will help alleviate that stress that you have. But if maybe you didn't see a save like your save, the tricky situation you're in at this current moment, maybe it happened on the last save your saves. You can check that out right up here, and then you will have that stress alleviated. I don't know what this is. 